Quoting UNESCO, Universal access to high-quality education is key to the building of peace, sustainable social and economic development, and intercultural dialogue. Open educational resources provide a strategic opportunity to improve the quality of education, as well as facilitate the policy dialogue, knowledge sharing, and capacity building. Let's listen to Professor Rory McGrill. He is the UNESCO Commonwealth of Learning Chairholder in Open Educational Resources. He is a professor in the Center for Distance Education at Athabasca University, which is Canada's open university based in Alberta. He is also the director of the Technology Enhanced Knowledge Research Institute, and he received in 2016 the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Open Education Consortium, a special merit award given to individuals who, during their lifetime and careers, have made creative contribution of outstanding significance to the advancement of open education. Professor Rory McGrill is an influential international expert in OER with a long-standing record in outstanding research, leading to a strong and convincing plea for OER. In the global discourse, he solidly and persistently emphasizes the benefits of openly licensed over proprietary learning materials. Rory shared some thoughts with us, and we are honored to have him as a guest in our MOOC. The declaration came about in 2012, and this uh, actually followed the establishment of a UNESCO Chair in Open Educational Resources uh, program. So I'll start with that. The program was started by UNESCO and uh, back in, I think, 2004, UNESCO at a meeting then was the first to use the term open educational resources. And this uh, uh, initiative was led by Susan D'Antoni at UNESCO in Paris. For my chair, she worked with Athabasca University and uh, we got a, a grant from the Hewlett Foundation uh, to support the chair and to support an initiative in the mapping of uh, places where people are using OER and developing open educational resources. So that's the background and, and mine also was, uh, I have a combined chair with uh, the Commonwealth of Learning and uh, again they were one of the main supporters of the uh, OER initiative. In fact, we're one of the leaders in developing the uh, 2012 declaration. So in, in 2012, I was at the meeting in Paris where we supported open educational resources, particularly for development. I don't think anyone saw open educational resources as the answer for development, but um, I think everyone realized that it was part of any answer that comes forward, that open education resources uh, will play a role. and. Uh, Following from that in Canada, the Canadian ministers of education together all supported the declaration. And now there are initiatives in uh, three and uh, I think coming up four of the Western provinces of Canada. So uh, it has had a significant effect here and many countries have uh, initiated OER projects uh, as a result of the declaration in response to the uh, declaration.